Yo, welcome to today's video. Today's video, I want to make a repair of this device, which is a uh, a fryer and hair fryer. Yes, this device is not working properly. This is how it's behaving as it is right now. You turn it on. Yes, it's plugged, and it goes to this mode, and you press, 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 and it's not working. The problem is that this plastic is broken. It this plastic is somewhere here right inside of the it's broken due to the design uh, this hedge push this the, this plastic up to activate the switch that is right here but it's broken i hope to solve the problem using these that i bought from uh, home depot and we add up up of this if you want to repair repair this you take off the top cover by just snapping it up you see this clip is held around with clips and after that you take your screwdriver one two three four after losing those four take out the tray let's put that inside there then with this be careful unplug from the wall okay we have this plastic to take care to take care of and you see that inside there we need to take care of it it's connected to this section so let me carefully carefully, carefully remove the clip oh i got a big end okay it's out of the way once that is out of the way find a way to pin it down and then it's all the the old top cover is held down with clips after removing those screw so i'm going to use my leg to hold it down and then yank it up you see just like that yank it up see that plastic at the back there watch and watch and you see we have it out in one piece you set that apart now i want to make this video very short what i have to do now is take this out Take this screw out too. Okay, that's just a plastic cover. And then take this also one, take this one out too. have the mechanism the mechanism is out so I need to take this out I find a way to take it out by I believe if I switch it or oh, push it forward the screw arranged this way and I hope it's going to help me solve the problem what I hope to do is now raise it up and then find a way to push it in okay you can see it's not even free as I want it to be but right now the switch is permanently turned on which means every time I need to do any frying thing it's gonna work okay it's going down
you know what? If I leave it this way, when we don't need it on, we unplug it from the wall. Well, this is not a permanent solution, but this is what I got. I believe this is a manufacturer defect of using something that will break with this kind of system. If anybody have a better solution, please let us know. But right now, this device will work as long as we plug it to work. So when we don't need it, we unplug it. Bye for now. That's my solution. Over and out. I'm ready to test it right now. I just press everything back in place. I have not even put a screw in. I just put it back. Okay, let's test it. So it's plugged. Okay, press the power to start. With the tray not even inside, it's starting. Let's start it again. 15 minutes. Okay. Without the tray inside. So my screw is doing the work. Thanks to Abo, uh, Home, Home Depot. Thanks to Home Depot. With these uh, three inches screw. Uh, with a round nut uh, number six four screw four nuts it's it's helping replace the plastic broken plastic you can see the mechanism in the uh, screw right there it's working so this will do anything we want to do now with or without the tray in there man it's warm good good so and if i want to turn it off let me see if i can power it off Fan is still blowing, it's indicating fan, looking fan right there. Okay, it's not heating up. Is it okay, it's powering down. Fine, I can manually control it anytime. Ooh. Good solution. If you don't need it, unplug it. That will be the next way of fixing it. If anybody has a better solution of making it to still work, please let us all know. But right now, this will work.